Hello, and, uh, and thank you for having me. I'm going to be your last speaker for the day. And afterwards, uh, they've got a, a, a great uh, happy hour and, uh, and reception that uh, I'd like to see everyone there. I'll be spending some time there uh, myself. Uh, thanks for the introduction, BJ. And uh, I want to uh, start my, my final part of the presentation here with some other thanks. I'm gonna thank the uh, panelists and the speakers for all being here today. I'm gonna thank them on behalf of, uh, of DRC. Uh, I wanna thank them all for the time they spent here and in their preparation. I wanna thank you all for coming up here in your commentary. And I wanna thank all the panelists and speakers for caring about public safety and your commitment to it. So thank you very much. I'd also like to thank the sponsors of the uh, event today. Uh, Textures Instruments was kind enough to be a co-presenting sponsor. Uh, we've also had uh, Encore and uh, Thomson Reuters to be uh, silver sponsors uh, here today. And uh, KRLD uh, News Radio uh, is a media partner here. So thanks to all of you as well. I also want to thank uh, DRC and Dale Petrovsky for allowing my company, Ashford, to be a co-presenting sponsor and for being up here and allowing me to, uh, to say a few, a few words. So, so thank you, uh, DRC, and thank you, Dale. Uh, a few days ago, I gave a, a speech at, uh, at Downtown Dallas, Inc., and I enjoyed giving it, and it was pretty short, like this one will be. Um, and during the speech, I talked about how I love downtown Dallas. We office up by the Galleria, and I want to come downtown, but that my employees just felt it was too unsafe to come down, and they don't want me to move downtown. And I went on to, to praise the efforts of the city and DDI and, and everything that they're trying to do, because I think that those efforts are really well done. And I'm uh, particularly proud and happy with our DPD, Dallas Police Department, for everything that they do. They work very hard. Um, but the response I got was less than positive, and I got uh, some comments in the paper, and some former mayors walked up and told me how unhappy they were with me. And I thought that was just a shame, because in order to solve problems, we have to be honest about the problems. And uh, the Dallas Police Department does a great job. They just need to be resourced better. We talked up here about the retention and recruitment problems, and those would largely go away if we paid them more, if we addressed and solved this pension problem instead of letting it drag out forever, and if we supported them as a business community, if we supported them, if we as citizens helped them and, and, and became part of the team. And that's the support that I think DPD is not getting enough of. Because if you look at the population of the city of Dallas, it has been stagnant for a decade now. And even the past couple of years, you've got more people moving out than moving in. And there's no guarantee that Dallas won't go the way or the path of some of our other large cities in this country. There's no reason to believe while it won't. And so we have to work hard now to prevent that from happening. And we have to acknowledge where there are challenges and do things about them. I do believe very strongly that in our upcoming budgets, there should be materially more money set aside for our police department, for recruiting, uh, for more officers, and for their pay and for their pension. And I believe as a business community, we should do everything we can to support them more. That's how we become a better city. That's how we address these problems because downtown does have a crime problem, but I want to go there. I want to move there. I just want it to be safe for my people, and my people, of course, want it safe. And so I'm going to do whatever I can in order to support our police so that they can do what they very much want to do, and that is to provide it as safe as possible downtown. So what I want to encourage everyone here to do is to do what I've just started to do, and I'm a little bit ashamed because I've only gotten civically involved in the past few years while many of you have been civically involved for decades even. And so myself and my firm are getting more civically involved, and we've been encouraged by city council members to go down to city council 
and to talk about our needs. A lot of the people that show up at city council are extremists about one issue or another, and there's not very many people talking about the basic services. I'm the publisher of the newspaper, the Dallas Express, and we do lots of polling, and the polling consistently say that people care far above everything else about these basic services. They care about crime, they care about homelessness, they care about street repair and these kinds of things. And yet I don't believe that these areas are getting enough attention. And I've spoken to a few city council people, and I don't know them very well, but my experience is these are great folks and they care and they want to do the right thing for their citizens, but they can't be experts in everything. It's impossible. Running a city is an enormous job, and so us as the business community need to go to the city council meetings and express our point of views and serve on commissions and share our point of views and tell them what we think is important so that they don't get the feedback just from surveys, but they get it from our mouths to their ears. I think that's important and that's significant, and I think that could go a long way to help our city. Uh, at our firm, we just launched something called the uh, Public Service Fellowship, where we put in a program where if some of our employees want to serve on commissions or want to run for public office, that their career is not impacted and that they will still continue to get paid and their career will advance despite that. And once we work out the kinks, I want to share it with some other businesses to hopefully we can have some other businesses do that because it's not fair to ask people that if they want to serve, they have to give up their entire careers. They should be able to do some and serve in the community by doing that. Uh, our firm also recently pioneered something we we're calling Adopt a Block, where we took the uh, streets of, uh, I believe it was Lemon, Cedar Springs, and Oaklawn, where we sent a team down twice a month to clean it all up because it just wasn't getting clean and we want to do our parts and so that's a volunteer program that we're doing and have been doing uh, over the past number of months and I don't live too far from there and it looks good and I'd love to have other companies do the same, adopt a part of the city and for volunteer time for your uh, employees and associates to have them be able to go down there onto company time and to be involved in that effort in that area of town looks much better now uh, because of those efforts. So I wanna encourage you to do that. So uh, in conclusion, I just wanna encourage the businesses here and the individuals here to get involved as much as possible. Don't do like I did and wait 30 years before you're involved uh, in the community, but to get involved sooner and encourage your people to, and wherever you can, if it's commission or if it's an adopt a block day serving that way, or even if it's running for office, uh, get involved. This is our city and we need to show the city how proud we are of it by getting involved and being involved.